What we're installing today is a acorn barn door rolling door system. Done a little bit of prep work as far as getting a header board. We need uh, something solid to uh, attach the rail to itself, uh, which they found the, um, the wall studs, which you've attached that header to, and we will attach the rail to that header. Uh, so the first hole is our locator hole for the rail. So we've already pre-drilled one hole. I'm just gonna locate it. And this is going to position the remainder of the holes and making certain that the rail is level. I'm just gonna remove this locator. Uh, initially, I'm gonna be draw drilling a small pilot hole, um, then enlarge the hole once these are set. We're going by the center of our locator marks. Okay, and I'm gonna go right down the line to the next hole and the two additional holes after that. So now we'll need to enlarge those holes. And we'll be testing just to see how well this is gripping. Now that we've pre-drilled uh, our, our additional four holes, uh, we're now going to install uh, the standoffs in the rails as an assembly, as an assembled unit. There is a, uh, a top side and a bottom side to this rail. Uh, it just makes in, uh, the ease of the wheels traveling on the rail. Just in double checking, level's good, right on. So now we're going to attach the end stops. That is parallel with the edges. And we also want to make sure the, the bump is in away from the outer edge. Continue with the same on the opposite side of the rail. And I'm just gonna secure the inner three lag bolts. Uh, bumpers for the ends of the end stops are included and I'll put them to the inside edge of each end stop. Okay, now we're going to be uh, introducing the wheel carriers. Uh, two per kit, one for each side of the door. According to this top hole here, three and a quarter inches in and one inch down from the top edge. Place the roller assembly onto the door and we're gonna locate our second hole. Mark the center of that. Just wanna get a center starting point as a guide for the drill. So I'm going to drill through, placing a board on the underside uh, just to help protect the uh, opposite side of the door. And drill all the way through. Yeah, we're doing the same measurements as the opposite side. All right, the second hole. There's a guide for the drill. See the drill again. Place the bracket back in place. Coming from the opposite side, I'll be going on with a nut. Tightening bolt from one side, using a ratchet on the back side. Not completely snug. Check for squareness at this point, which we're good, right on. We'll continue to do the same for the opposite side. Good, right on. Okay, so we now have the door hung. It's working fine. Full length, end to end. Uh, that's the initial setup. We'll also be installing two jump blocks on either end, and it's to prevent the door from popping up and having the wheels derail uh, from the track. One optional item uh, that could be used is a soft close system uh, so that the door, when it goes from either one end to the other, if too much force is used on the door itself, it won't slam. It'll go close and close softly. This is the door action uh, as it is, as it comes standard, because it was ordered, pre-drilled, which we'll be installing on either end of the door. 
Now, with this feature, this is the action. That's completely open. Easy enough to close the door. Same feature at the opposite end. And it'll soft close each and every time. Okay, hey, we're going to proceed to install the door pole. And I'll, I'll pre-drill. I recommend not using a power drill or a power tool to install the screws. Uh, many times it overkills and has or causes damage from the screw heads to the finish of the product. Uh, now that we have the door hung, we've got the handle completely installed. Uh, we installed um, floor guides. It comes with two. And again, ideally, uh, these would be either mounted with the tabs out or if need be, could be mounted with the tabs in, mounted closer to the door's edge with the door in the closed position that would keep that in line. We decided to use a single one. We ended up putting a groove towards the bottom edge of the door, full length across, uh, that's approximately one inch deep, um, and we installed a single bracket to the floor here. So in closing, that's the installation of our custom door on our rolling track hardware. Uh, complete installation. For more information on this, uh, you can visit us at acornmfg.com.